Welcome to Time Suck, the game that shoves its comedy shtick right in your trivia hole. Dude, you have no idea how much I've had to drink. Me and my roommate split a keg. I don't even know how many tequizas I've had, because you know me, man, I just like to drink. Justin, you're better than that. Don't make me regret not hating you anymore. Is there anybody here that you haven't met that you think uh, you're excited to meet? John Stewart. Every couple has those top five greatest hit arguments that you'll just kind of dust off when you have a few minutes to kill. If he wins this year, I'm going to uh, donkey punch him. I think that's the gauntlet right at our feet right there, John Stewart. Donkey punch coming your way. Time Suck is designed to measure your knowledge of TV, video games, the internet, basically all the stuff you do instead of the stuff you're supposed to be doing. Like, oh look, we have five minutes. Let's ruin the evening. The no nukes liberal agenda of the jellyfish community is well documented, uh, but I don't think we need to worry about them. I mean, think about it. Uh, anybody who's watched the Planet Earth DVDs or the movie Oceans knows that uh, jellyfish, or as I call them, sea hippies, uh, they're basically just stoned all the time. The Comedy Awards helps raise money for the American Comedy Fund, which provides financial assistance for comedians in need. I'm asking the biggest names in comedy about their stories back in the day. Jumped the turnstile to get on the subway for my first gig of the night. You know, it's hard to single out a low point when the whole thing is pretty much a, a baseline. Angelina Jolie had her baby in Africa to escape the media. Tori Spelling had her baby on a Oxygen Network soundstage. <laughs> She's cute in person the same way the bionic man is strong in person. I mean, it's all, you know, we can make her pretty. Smashing of bottles and that part I don't know. That part, no, no, not so yeah, much. That, not that so much. Know. We're going to play a bunch of games, kind of like the Price is Right, except that in this case, the price is your reputation as a productive member of society. Of yes. all, like, the athletes yes. you've interviewed. Yes. Worst breath. Greg Jeffries, former New York man. It's bad for me just because every time he changes his name, I have to get my lower back tattoo corrected. <laughs> biggest tool. Like, biggest guy who you just... When once the camera turned off, you were just like, F this guy. Greg Jeffries, former New York <laughs> Mets. It's nice to be here in Brooklyn, or as I call it, land of a million beards. <laughs> April, after two rounds, you have the lowest score. Don't think of yourself as a loser. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. You should definitely think of yourself as a loser. <laughs> as far as I can tell, there are two types of beard. There is the homeless messiah <laughs> and fisherman holding a grudge. Those are the two <laughs> beard genres. The internet is as inevitable as death and taxes, only with more boobies. Join me as I ask comedy's biggest names what they think of cyberspace. Quizlove, I, I hate to bring this up. I don't make you uncomfortable, oh, but... Lord. Dude, you have a comb in your hair. Really? <laughs> I'm going to go tweet some of that right now. TTYL, at Christ Finnegan. Seriously, I need the followers.